Hi, I'm Cindy Cloward with Riley Blake Designs, and today's special project is a mastectomy pillow. Now, this is a pattern that we got from Sashiko. Her blog name is T Rose Home, and she is a breast cancer survivor. And I think we all know someone who has been affected by breast cancer. We know that one in eight women will be affected by breast cancer in their lifetime. And this is a great way for if you're a maker and you want to help someone out who is suffering to make something for them that's useful and it shows that you care. So let's get started on this project. First, why would someone who's affected by breast cancer want this cute little heart-shaped pillow? Well, it has a couple of uses. First, if they've had a mastectomy or they've had... Um, part of their breasts removed, it's very tender. And sometimes they even have additional lymph nodes removed underneath their arms, around the side of, of their body. And it's a nice way to cushion the arm against um, the side of their breast or the side of their body. So it adds extra cushion and support and comfort. And it's in a heart shape, isn't that sweet? I've also been told that when they're traveling in the car, sometimes they'll have a port or they're still tender recovering from surgery. And it's a nice way to put on their chest for the, for the seat belt. Uh, when it comes across their chest, it gives an extra cushion and um, doesn't cause as much discomfort if they use one of these mastectomy pillows. So I think it's a sweet way to show that you care. And it's really super simple to make. You can download the temp template. Uh, the link will be in the product description to the website to where to download the template. I've already cut these out with our uh, breast cancer uh, fabric that we have designed at Riley Blake Designs. And part of the proceeds go to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation because we believe and that this fabric has a purpose and it supports that good and needed research. The first thing you need to do is trace out two pieces of fabric in the shape of a heart and then cut them out. I've already previously done that and now you're just going to put them right sides together and you can pin that in the middle and you're going to stitch around your heart leaving about a two inch opening to turn it right side out. And you can kind of just slowly ease around the curve. And I like to um, do my turning inside out on the side of the heart. So let's take it to the machine and sew. All right, we've stitched around all our edges. Now we're just going to give it a turn right side out. Again, you can use any fabric you want, but why not use a fabric that's specific to breast cancer? That has a nice little message on this. It says hope, strength, courage. Just some positive words. All right, I like a turning tool or a stiletto. We have this fun little stiletto that, it's a little flamingo stiletto that I push out my seam around the top of the heart. Okay, it looks pretty good. Um, if you have a little puckering here, uh, it might be nice to clip around there, but it's it's not too bad. So I, I don't feel like I need to clip around the inside of the, the heart there. I'm going to give it a quick press before I start stuffing my heart. Again, stuffing it will pop out those seams anyway. Just keep pushing in all the stuffing to fill up all the corners. All right, that feels just about right. Now you have your opening and I just do a quick whip stitch to close it. I double up my thread. 
just going to hide my knot inside just like that. And make sure you roll your edges fourth inch down on each side so it kind of matches what you've already sewn. And then I just do a whip stitch close. Okay, that's all finished. I'm just going to knot it a couple times. Then I'm going to hide my ends inside the pillow. And that's how easy it is to make a mastectomy pillow. Now it's ready to give to someone you personally know who's affected by breast cancer or to an organization that is currently treating many women with breast cancer.